as we get closer to next year's presidential primaries, it is becoming more and more of a possibility that President Biden doesn't even win the New Hampshire primary. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 Democrat presidential primary. Because everyone, what we originally thought was going to be kind of a boring, non-eventful primary season may have just gotten more interesting. As New Hampshire has officially set its primary date on January 23rd, which puts the Democrat primary New Hampshire out of compliance, which means two things. One, the delegates of New Hampshire probably will not count. But number two, and the one that I don't think enough people are talking about, Biden is technically not going to be on the ballot in the Democrat primary. Yeah, Biden has to have a write-in campaign just to win the New Hampshire primary. Now, let me be clear. He's still going to be on the ballot in the general election. But for the primary, he has to run a write-in campaign because... New Hampshire is defying the Democrats' BS when it comes to the primary calendar. As many of you probably know, New Hampshire has always been the first primary since the early 1900s. Well, the Democrat Party, they try to completely change the calendar to put New Hampshire like the fifth, uh, the fifth primary or something. Well, the New Hampshire Democrats, even the state of New Hampshire said, screw you, we're going first, which puts them out of compliance and sets up this bizarre situation where Biden could theoretically lose the Democrat primary in the state. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you could join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So again, this situation is absolutely bizarre and we may be seeing history in the making. I don't remember the last time a Democrat lost a primary in the state of New Hampshire as the incumbent president. Because usually when you're the incumbent president, you have a cakewalk to the nomination. And while he, Biden's still going to be the nominee, he's not on the ballot. In fact, there was some polling conducted by Emerson College that shows Biden with the write-in option is only at 27%. Well, Dean Phillips, who just announced a couple weeks ago, is at 15% already. So it's like, hold on a second here. Wait, time out. Biden, which is not a hard name to spell, it's not a hard name to write down, is only at 27%. There's 44% undecided, but more people are choosing Phillips, William Cerny, or even other combined than Biden. That's, you know, considering that Biden is supposedly one of the most popular presidents ever, that doesn't sound that good. That he's only at 27% for a writing campaign? Again, if this was some complicated name, fine, but Joe Biden? And this could be because of people being confused that people, that Biden's not on the ticket. They think, oh, wait a minute. He's not on the ballot. What happened here? So they just write in for like Dean Phillips or something. But it does open a question of if enough people misunderstand or are confused by the write-in stuff and vote for, say, Dean Phillips, there's a possibility Dean Phillips wins the New Hampshire primary. It's unlikely, but we'll just get into it because this is absolutely bizarre. There's finally a date for the New Hampshire 2024 primaries. January 23rd, the long-awaited announcement from Secretary of State David Schlein, uh, Scanlon on Wednesday firms up Republicans' nominating calendar and officially puts the state out of compliance 
with National Democrats' preferred voting order. Which, this entire scam the DNC is trying to pull on the state of New Hampshire is a disgrace. They have been the primary for a hundred years or whatever. And now suddenly we have to change it because racism? No. The Democrats decided to change the primary order because Biden had a historically weak showing in the state in 2020 for the primary. He, remember, he only got 8% of the vote in New Hampshire. 8 or something like 9%. You know how pathetic that is? When you win the nomination, like Biden did, you're supposed to do good in New Hampshire. I know Bernie Sanders was on the ticket, but you took fifth or sixth. That's absolutely pathetic that that's happening. That happened last time around. And they're probably scared the same thing could happen here where Biden vastly underperforms in New Hampshire. Let's just say Dean Phillips, who picks up some momentum and who knows. New Hampshire has held the first of the nation presidential primary election for over 100 years. Scanlon sat at the state house in Concord, flanked by GOP Governor Chris Sununu and both the Republican and Democratic state party chairs, and we will vigorously defend it. Based on the GOP calendar, January 23rd was a date widely expected. It's just over a week from the January 15th caucuses. However, it's more than a week before the Senate South Carolina's Democrat primary on February 3rd. Keep it in line with New Hampshire law that requires a Granite State to hold its primary a week before the contest. South Carolina's GOP primary is February 24th. So yeah, the Democrats try to pull, pull some strings here and try to get South Carolina first. Why? That was Biden's strongest state of the first four. Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina. South Carolina was easily his best state you got like 38 40 percent i think it was actually pretty good considering Buttigieg was still in it klobuchar was still in it uh bloomberg i don't think was on the ballot yet but he did decent enough in south carolina that saved his campaign president biden and top democrats wanted south carolina for this very reason in the leadoff spot for the 2024 calendar new hampshire was supposed to vote second on a shared day with nevada but Scanlon and other Republicans who control state government long said they wouldn't bend the Democrats' demands. Using racial diversity as a cudgel is an attempt to rearrange a presidential nominating calendar is an ugly process, Scanlon said. Diversity is not the real issue at play in this debate. At stake is who gets to determine the nominee of the party, the elites of a national party committee by controlling the nominating calendar, or the voters. Which is a good point. Listen. This idea that South Carolina has to go first because they're more diverse, bull crap. If South Carolina, if black voters vote a Republican, South Carolina won't even be in top 20. They're only picking South Carolina because guess what? That's going to be the easiest state for the establishment to pick the nominee for. It's just true. Because whoever wins South Carolina's the establishment there, they tend to win the nomination. And this is the part we get to. Biden didn't put his name on the New Hampshire primary ballot in anticipation that the state would hold an unsanctioned Democrat contest. His campaign manager, Julie Chavez Rodriguez, wrote a letter to state Democrat Party Chair Ray Buckley that while the president wishes to participate in the primary, he's obliged to, obl obligate, excuse me, to follow the DNC calendar he set in motion. Biden's allies in the state are now running a writing campaign on his behalf. Again, he may have some problems. This was always a big problem for Biden if he did a writing campaign. Like, Democrat voters, they don't hate Biden, I'm not saying that. But here's a big problem. Biden is no Obama. The, the voters don't overwhelmingly love him. They're like, eh... There's some that love him, but a lot of them are just like, okay, he's fine. They're not enthusiastically going to vote Biden in a Democrat primary, especially with a write-in choice like this. 
Biden could still lose the now officially unofficial early contest to a long shot candidate like Dean Phillips or Maureen Williamson, both of whom filed for the primary ballot and are campaigning in the state. A loss here would be an embarrassment for Biden en route to his likely renomination. And based on Democrat Party rules passed last year, the state could lose half its delegates if it goes through with an unsanctioned primary. So you just start looking at this and you realize, you now understand why Dean Phillips is running. It's a long shot, but he could claim that he is the winner in New Hampshire if he somehow gets more votes than Biden, which, two things. One, I don't think that's ever happened historically. I don't think an incumbent president has ever lost New Hampshire for the primary. But number two, it could theoretically give Dean Phillips some momentum be like, I won New Hampshire, everybody. Vote for me. Which could theoretically weaken Biden in several other states. You just start looking and you realize, uh, despite, you know, this being a writing campaign and Democrats not being in compliance, why the hell didn't they put Biden on the ballot? Why? This was a stupid risk that, while I think Biden still wins, there's a serious possibility enough voters don't realize Biden's a write-in option and vote for Dean Phillips. It was always a dumb risk. Just put him on the ballot for crying out loud. I'm getting sick of this crap that the Democrats pretend to care so much about minority voters and like, we are going to respect South Carolina because they're diverse and all this stuff. Which, okay, fine. You want to have a diverse electorate to decide. Fine. But let's be real. If the voters didn't vote the way you wanted them to, you wouldn't give a rat's ass about them. It's true. You screwed over Iowa because they voted for Trump. New Hampshire because it's 90% white. Despite voting for Biden. It just... It's absolutely idiotic to do this pandering crap, even for ballot access. Do these idiots really think this is going to win them a lot of voters over just for not being on the ticket in New Hampshire? It's just an unnecessary risk that they never had to do. Just say, we're going to be on the ballot. We disagree, disagree with the dates, but obviously we're going to be on the ticket. But no, they're not doing that, and well... <laughs> the risk is there that Dean Phillips can pull it off and I, I think be the first time ever. If that's happened, I don't know when. Maybe in the 1930s or something, but I can't, maybe Linda B. Johnson was the last incumbent president to lose New Hampshire. Maybe. But outside of that, it's like, I don't know many times where that's happened. I believe Ted Kennedy almost beat Carter, but he still lost it. It would be absolutely hilarious if Biden, who technically is on the ballot fine, but still in a write-in option, and is the incumbent, and is supposedly beloved by the party. He should win this easily. But the fact there's some people confused, like, they're not enthusiastic to vote for Biden yet, I don't know what to say. We just gotta see what happens, but... I can hope Dean Phillips wins just for the memes. The laugh of the Democrats for trying to pull the shenanigans and it backfires. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.